Fast QA allows you to manage your dictionaries and control terminologies. Dictionaries could be thesaurus dictionaries like Medra or Hudrug. Control terminologies contains usually user formats like 1 equals mild, 2 equals moderate, and so forth. You can set up your own dictionaries or you can import data into the custom dictionaries or use existing CDIS1 to verify against your data sets. So common tasks involve importing code terms from other dictionaries or format catalogs and verifying your data against the dictionaries such as CDIS control terms. Those are the two that I'll be describing here. To start, you can click on imports and what this would do is it will allow you to take uh, any source data set or uh, a, an another dictionary or a format catalog. In this case, for example, it'll list example format um, values here. When I click on a particular format name, the coded term and the decoded value are displayed here. I can select multiple items such as these three formats and then import. Um, what this would do is it will bring all of those terms from the dictionaries once imported into my user-defined uh, dictionary here. So I have, I'm building this set of dictionary terms in my uh, user-defined uh, that you can manage against your data. So once you have dictionaries built, an example is to verify your data against them by clicking on this verify here. Now in this case, um, your data sets are what you would select down here. My example data set happens to be named formats because it came from a format catalog and it has uh, different values. So if I click on preview, I can see an example set of uh, printouts of the, the values. In this case, the two columns that I'm interested in are the, the format name and also some of the value label. So in this case, and also the, the starting value. So in this example, if I were to zoom in, I can show you that um, the value of, well, I'll scroll down a little bit here to the value example of one going towards mild and then two going towards moderate. So I'll go ahead and select that as an example to verify. So in this case, if I wanted to verify against the CDISC data set or control terms, I can search for um, severity type of uh, values uh, on the control term. If I were to click on SEV and search, it shows me that there's a severity intensity and the coded values are mild, moderate, severe. So in that case, um, I'll go ahead and select here the uh, value format label against the uh, that I was going to verify against. So I'll go ahead and click OK. What this would do is it would evaluate my data set and then ev compare that against the CDIS selected formats to see if that's uh, matching or are there mismatches. So in this example, I can see that the first check is that it found some uh, data values in my control terms that are not in the CDIS standard. So that might be a problem where if I find some dosing information in my data set and it's not found in the CDIS standard control terms, I may consider removing that. But in other cases, it finds matches. For example, in this example, I selected um, in, the, in the report for matches, it shows the mild, moderate, severe report that I had in my data does match with the uh, you know, control terminology for uh, the guidelines 311. So these are good tasks to run against your data to verify and make sure that they do match and that they are standardized with the control terms from CDISC or in some cases that there are mismatches and you may need to clean up or change your control terms to adhere to the standards.